From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. For everyone out there that disagrees, change the channel. You're not worth it. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I... I'm your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. The uh, story of Elliot Spitzer though you probably didn't know who Elliot Spitzer was until I brought him up on the air, and now you've probably seen him on the news or read about him in the papers on the front page of the L.A. Times today. It just goes on and on. Here's the governor of New York State. He hasn't resigned. Uh, now uh, three New York newspapers are calling for him to step down. Uh, the uh, Republican leadership of the New York State legislature is telling him to step down. Are they going to draw up articles of impeachment? Here we go. Sounds like a lot of fun. And for those of you who haven't been paying attention to the news, Elliot Spitzer, the the guy they used to call Mr. Clean, the guy who went after uh, radio stations for payola, went after Enron, went after mutual funds, and went after the New York Stock Exchange, and Dick Grasso, the former president of the New York Stock Exchange, because he was going to clean all this stuff up. He used all that resume to get himself elected the governor of New York State. He said, hey! When I become governor, I'm going to continue cleaning stuff up. And among the things I'm going to clean up, prostitution. Too much of that awful, disgusting prostitution. Well, long story short, the feds were wiretapping Mr. Spitzer, and apparently they uh, they believe they found him uh, negotiating a deal to pay over $5,000 to a hooker to get on the train in New York and ride down to D.C. and meet him at room 871 of the Mayflower Hotel. And now uh, all hell is breaking loose. And then you've got the poor wife. Have you heard about the wife? Let me read to you from a story in the New York Daily News. I won't read the whole story. It's not necessary, but here it is. A friend of Silda Wall Spitzer said she's, quote, disgusted that Governor Spitzer betrayed his wife of 20 years. She said... Oh, poor Silda. She is such a wonderful woman. I cannot even imagine this. Silda Wallspitzer's friend said they were shocked by news her husband cheated on her with high-priced prostitutes. And they had one piece of advice. Dump him. Said one friend. They were great together. Fun. Fabulous to be around. There was never even one small inkling of anything like this. If I were her, I would call my mother or my best friend and pack my bags and go someplace far away for six months and take my daughters with me. Another pal. That's how they write in New York in these newspapers. Another pal said she's, quote, disgusted. That's the other person said disgusted, too. Now, the pal said she's, quote, disgusted that Governor Spitzer betrayed his wife of 20 years. The estranged wife of former New Jersey Governor Jim McGreevy, who came out as a gay American, in quotes, and resigned in 2004, said she felt sorry for Silda Spitzer. What a name. Hello. My name is Silda Spitzer. I listen to your show all the time. I love it. You're so well informed. <laughs> My name is Silda. <laughs> yes. Like Spitzer, Dina Matos McGreevy. 
stood by her governor husband as he confirmed news of his career-ending sex scandal. I'm reliving that, she said. I wanted to embrace her and say, be strong, you'll survive this. Silda Spitzer, suffering suck attack, 50, pursued a career as a corporate lawyer while raising three daughters. I love these names. Alyssa Spitzer, Sarah Beth Spitzer. <laughs> What's your name? You know, they live in New York, probably have the accent. Yeah? What's your name? Alyssa Spitzer. This is my sister, Sarah Beth Spitzer. I'm Alyssa Spitzer. That's Sarah Beth Spitzer. And this is our sister, Jenna. <laughs> Alyssa Spitzer, 17. Sarah Beth, 15. Jenna, 13. Silda now works for charitable organizations, including Children for Children, which she founded in 1996. Silda Spitzer arrived home in a black SUV after yesterday's news conference. Surrounded by guards, she got out of the car and reached her hand out for her husband to help him from the car. He didn't reach back. <laughs> he got out on his own and they walked into their Upper East Side townhouse looking stoic and ignoring questions. Nancy Lieberman, an attorney who worked with Silda Spitzer... Hello. <laughs> it's one of those things I don't even have to say anything. You know what I'm thinking. Hello. Nancy, <laughs> Nancy Lieberman, an attorney who worked with Silda Spitzer at the law firm of Scadden, Arps, Slate, Mir, and Flom, said her friend didn't deserve this. She said, Silda is the most wonderful human being in the world. She is kind and caring. My heart is with her at this time. All right, but here's the deal. Many of her friends say she should just take the kids and leave. Because keep in mind, although uh, Elliot Spitzer comes from one of the richest families in New York, Oh, I think she was definitely a spitzer, not a swallower. <laughs> She's a spitzer. <laughs> um, <laughs> people are saying, even though uh, uh, Elliot Spitzer is um, uh, from one of the wealthiest families, they're going to live the rest of their lives in disgrace. He's going to have to step down as governor. And on top of that, there's questions whether he can even work as an attorney anymore. And on top of that, there's possibility he'll do some jail time if he's indicted. There's possibility he could be convicted and then spend some time in a federal penitentiary. Now, let's say you were Mrs. Spitzer. What would you do? I mean, let's face it, if she gets divorced, she can take half of everything he's earned all these years. She doesn't have to stay with him. There's a cougar for you. <laughs> Just take that Spitzer fortune and, uh, you know, tart yourself up and go out there and start, uh, you know, promoting your availability. But uh, what's the deal? What would you do? Would you stand by this guy? And why do these women stand by these guys? I mean, come on. Come on. He's dragging you through the mud. She looked like she'd been punched in the face. She looked like she'd been uh, hit in the face with a bag of nickels. Did you see her face yesterday? During that press conference? you see that video on TV yesterday? Oh, my. So I'm wondering. Um, let's say, <laughs> let's say you are Mrs. Silda Spitzer. Hello. Uh, <laughs> would you stay with soon-to-be former Governor Spitzer or not? Tom, 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 Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866.
I just have a problem with you calling women dumb bitches. I don't see where you get off. Well, I only do it when they are dumb bitches. Yeah, but it's just such a derogatory term. You cannot find any other words in your vocabulary just to express how you feel. Oh, yeah. Dumb whores, a stupid broad. There's plenty of words in my vocabulary. You are not even watching uh, I'm a, Why are you on I'm, the radio? This is I'm over the hill slot. I mean, I'm, I'm like a thesaurus. I got plenty of words. It's the Dumb Likey Show. <laughs> The Tom Likas Show. At 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. All right. So we're talking about uh, the wife of Elliot Spitzer, the governor of New York State. The queen of sibilance, Silda Spitzer. I mean, uh, people are saying she should just uh, leave, take the kids, go. Some people say, oh, no, she should stay. What do you think? Should she go? Michelle on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Doing great. Good. Hey, I just wanted to say, basically, I think he did what he did because she wasn't putting out. And um, I do think she should leave. She should tart herself up, take the kids, and get out. And take uh, half of that huge uh, fortune. Exactly. <laughs> Which she will be uh, if she leaves. That's right. But I think she wasn't putting out. She wasn't doing her job, her duty. Yeah, but you know how the world works. Uh, the world is set up so women can refuse to put out. Then when men go out and get it somewhere else, they're called pigs. And then you can take half of everything we have. Yeah, I know. Doesn't make sense, Tom. A good reason that uh, Elliot Spencer shouldn't have gotten married, but there you go. Yep, there you go, Tom. Hey, can you take me out with a bong hit? You bet I can. No golf. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Alex on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, you rock, my man. You rock. <laughs> You know what? Of course that man had to cheat on that wife. Did you see that face on that woman? I mean, give me a break. And our friends are talking about, oh, she's such a great woman. They're such a great couple. He's, they're a great couple because of all these years he's been cheating on this woman. That's the only way he could tolerate and come home and stomach that, way, that wife. Are you kidding me? And he's three daughters. And by the way, I'm getting a dog tomorrow, and I'm going to name the dog Silda. I love that word, that name. Silda Spitza. Silda Spitza. <laughs> he cheated on her note to the men do not get married it's not worth it now he's got to give half of his money if he if she decides to leave he's got to give half of his loot to this woman forget it he should just stay with her because he's going to wind up cheating on her again because she's not going to put out again she's not going to be a good wife again she's not going to get any or maybe she puts out but she looks like silda spitzer i know she looks like silda spitzer <laughs> I don't think so. She should. He should just stay right there. Go ahead, do what you're gonna do. And there's nothing wrong with getting a good little hooker every now and then. It keeps the marriage happy. Take note, her friends of 20 years. God, you know, get grow up, ladies. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. I love you, Tom. <laughs> 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Scott on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Scott. First time, long time. <laughs> Love your show. I listen all the time. In fact, the entire Spitzer family listens to your show. <laughs> listen, Tom, if she really wants to get back at him, she should require that he live with her for the rest of his life and sleep in the same bed every night. <laughs> Otherwise, he would essentially might be rewarded for his actions. <laughs> just, just think of the guilt he's going through. And keep in mind, I don't. You think he feels guilty? I don't think he feels guilty. I think he no. feels, oh my God, I got caught. That's what he feels. Yes. Yeah, but that's the probably the implied message that the public wants him to hear. But keep in mind, it was the the Jews who invented guilt, but it was the Catholics who made a religion out of it. <laughs> Hello. 
one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Eric on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom. Hey. Hey, I just wanted to say. Uh, I know why. I know why she looks like she's gotten beat by a, a bag of nickels. Why is that? Because she keeps taking it to the face. <laughs> you think so? Oh yeah, dude. Uh, I, I hear all kinds of freaking rum- rumors on all kinds of forums that, that, you know, I've been reading about this all day long. And she seems, I mean, the whole family seems to like, you know, they're not really, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't say that they're very, uh, uh, what's the word? Well, look, if you're reading blogs and you're reading postings on, on websites and stuff, you know, anybody could say anything. It's even worse than talk radio. At least we have a screener. Anybody can uh, say anything, post anything, and I'm sure there's going to be a certain amount of fiction posted there. No, 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 no. These blog, I mean, no, oh, these, no, oh, these people know. They know. You can tell uh, they, they know. Where do, you, where do you hear that from? I mean, come on. <laughs> they know. Uh, people, people you can tell them. they know. <laughs> well, what do you know? What do you know, Tom? You don't know. <laughs> Love your show. Hey, can you can you? Uh, can you take me out um, uh, machine gun style and then po- fo- following by African style? Yes. Oh, no, yeah. African style and then passing by, by the machine gun style. All right, here we go. Is he playing those sounds? Why can't he just do a nice show like Dennis Prager? One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. <laughs> Sarah on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi Tom. This is my first time calling you. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Look at you. <laughs> Oh, wow. Um, I've been listening to your show for such a long time, and um, I'm a big fan. Uh, I disagree with you sometimes, but that doesn't matter. Uh, regarding this uh, subject, you know, I think she should stay. If she really loves her husband. Um, I don't think it's a big deal. I've been married to, I mean, I am married with two kids. Uh, I have a little one, 14 months. I have another little one, three and a half. I'm 38 years old. And um, I believe in your marriage. If you really love your husband, uh, life is too short. What's what's so wrong about doing a little bit mistake here and there? And um, she should definitely forgive him. Yeah, but he didn't just make a mistake. I mean, as far as we can tell, if these wiretaps are indeed Elliot Spitzer, client number nine didn't just do this one time. He's done it before. Um. In fact, according to the story I heard today, the reason Elliot Spitzer got caught up in a wiretap investigation is because the FBI uh, was concerned about uh, his habit of uh, transporting money. And they thought he was taking bribes as the governor of New York State, so they started investigating him for that. Oh. And then they happened to be wiretapping, and they found client number nine on the phone with uh, the, uh, the the hooker agency. Oh. So I don't think this was like one little transgression, just my opinion, that I'm sure will be borne out by fact down the line. I see. <laughs> I think he's well. done this more than once. So now, what if he did it ten times or a hundred times? And where did he get the money to do this? Well, they're very rich, so... Yeah, but isn't his money their money? Well, probably she's doing something on the side, too. And we don't know that. We don't know, but... And judging uh, from the look of her, I'd be surprised. Um, I don't know if that's the case, if he's been doing this for such a long time or whatever, more than a few times, uh, um, why stay together? Just because of the money that's... That well, that's sense. what I'm suggesting. I'm suggesting that uh, I agree. I think she ought to get out. She'll be able to take whatever she wants to take because that's the way the law works. All right. If uh, if that's the case, I mean, it's better to go your own separate ways and uh, enjoy life. If, uh, you know, what's the point of uh, cheating on each other left and right? Um, but he'll, if- write a, he'll write a book. Uh-huh. He'll tell the whole story. Probably. <laughs> He'll have a new young girlfriend who uh, loves money. 
That's right. <laughs> and uh, she'll go off and uh, take her millions that she gets out of the whole thing and, uh, you know, get a boob job or something, and they move on. Well, she might get a young boyfriend as well. Who knows? She might. <laughs> One who also loves money. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if she gets half of what he has, that's a lot of money. She could do a lot with it. Well, she wouldn't get half of what he has. She'd get half of what he earned during the marriage. But they've been together, what, 17, 18 right. years at least because they have kids that age. Right, right. And I, I'm, I'm guessing that she didn't have kids before they got married. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, well, I'm so excited to talk to you. Um, and I'll be calling again. All right. I'll be looking for you. Okay. I'll be hanging by my thumbs. <laughs> All right. Have a good evening. Thank you. Remind me to give that some thought every day when I come in here that Sarah might call back. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is James on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. I just have one thing to say to you, man. That's very nice. It didn't sound like Swahili to me. No. 1-800-5800-TOM. Good work there, Snuggles. It's uh, Lindsay on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Wow, that is a hard act to follow, I must say. I know. Um, Tom, I absolutely adore you. I listen to your show every day on my way home from work, um, and I just think you're super fabulous. So thank you for taking my call. Sure. Um, I'm actually going to alter what I said a little bit because I just heard that woman uh, who called before the last uh, African caller and I have to say that, you know, seems like a nice lady, but probably has no self-respect because no self-respecting woman, you know, in their right mind would stay with a man. This, this isn't a little infidelity. This isn't a screw up one night in a, you know, the heat of passion. This is spending $80,000 on several hookers over the course of... Oh, do, is there new long. information? I hadn't read that. Are they saying... Oh, he... it's on Yahoo right now. Check it out. Oh. They're, they're saying that he possibly spent over $80,000. Really? Um, yeah. Like, ser I mean, I am a happily married young woman, and, you know, hopefully you'll appreciate that I am an equal contributor in my marriage, both financially, emotionally, physically, all of the above. Wow. And I agree with you that marriage isn't for everybody, but I'm a wonderful woman and my husband's a wonderful man, so we make it work. But if there's no respect in your marriage, there's zero point in getting married. Then you might as well not get married, you know, go screw everything that walks and enjoy your life. But we really enjoy co each other's company. We look forward to... You know, growing old together, we're, we're able to do things together that we aren't able to do separately. We're, you know, trying to buy a house together. And in L.A., that's something that, you know, not everybody can do because of the crazy price of real estate. So there's things that make our life better for, you know, by being with each other. But in this particular situation, I think if she stays with him, I, you know, she's a complete, complete, complete idiot. I mean, this is... You know, I can't think of anything more disrespectful, you know, than doing something like this, being a public figure and disgracing your wife really in front of the whole world. You know, I I don't really know what to say about that. So, um, and as far as the, the caller previ previously, excuse me, who said that she deserved it because, you know, she's an ugly woman, he married an ugly woman. So what does that say about him? I mean, you know. So. Well, my guess is she looked a lot better 20 years ago. Very possible, but it's definitely her fault a little for not uh, taking better care of herself there. But, I mean, I don't know. I, I agree with you, and I, I hate when women get married, you know, with the with the thought that if something happens, she's going to, you know, take this guy for everything he's worth. In this particular case, I actually hope it happens because I, uh, I think he has it coming to him. So that's what i got to say, Tom. Well, Bye. thank you for that, Lindsay. I appreciate the call. I do, and look at this story. She's absolutely right. Lindsay is right. Here it is. With pressure mounting on Governor Elliot Spitzer to resign over a call girl scandal, investigators said today he was clearly a repeat customer who spent tens of thousands of dollars, perhaps as much as $80,000 with a high-priced prostitution service over an extended period of time. 
Spitzer and his family, meanwhile, remained secluded in their Fifth Avenue apartment while Republicans began talking impeachment. And few, if any, fellow Democrats came forward to defend him. A death watch of sorts began at the New York State Capitol, where whispers of what have you heard echoed through nearly every hallway of the ornate 809 year old building. Speaking on condition of anonymity, a law enforcement official said that Spitzer, in fact, had spent tens of thousands of dollars with the Emperor's Club. Another official said the amount could be as high as $80,000, but it was not clear over which time uh, period that that money was spent. Still another law enforcement official said investigators found that during the tryst with Kristen on the night before Valentine's Day, Spitzer used two rooms at the Mayflower Hotel in Washington, one for himself, the other for the prostitute. Didn't I use the two-room method once, Gary? At least once. More than once. The two-room method. Oh, yeah, honey, I'm at the so-and-so hotel. Just call me there. Uh Uh-huh. (laughs) <laughs> That's right. Says here, sometime around 10 p.m., Spitzer sneaked away from a security detail and made his way to the room where she was waiting, the official said. Just love it. 48-year-old married man with three teenage daughters. The case began when banks noticed frequent cash transfers from several accounts and filed suspicious activity reports with the Internal Revenue Service. This is according to a law enforcement official. The accounts were traced back to Spitzer. It prompted public corruption investigators to open an inquiry. Just amazing. Now, uh, in other Elliot Spitzer news, and this goes on, remember George Fox? George Fox was the... uh, was the, uh, he, again, Art Vandelay would have been too obvious. So, <laughs> Elliot Spitzer allegedly used the name George Fox as the name uh, to which his room at the Mayflower Hotel, room 871, was registered. Says here, George Fox, a friend and campaign contributor of Elliot Spitzer, said he was disappointed and distressed by a report that said Spitzer used his name as an alias when contacting a prostitution ring. Fox, a hedge fund investor, said the discovery of his name in the sex scandal at Golfing Spitzer, quote, comes as a great surprise and disappointment. A statement issued by a public relations firm representing Fox said there is absolutely no connection between Mr. Fox and the governor's alleged activity beyond the unauthorized use of his name. Mr. Fox considers Governor Spitzer a close friend and is distressed by the news that has emerged. Fox, his firm Titan Investors, invests $3.5 billion in some of the world's most prominent hedge funds. And Spitzer have been friends for two decades. Fox donated to Spitzer's 2006 campaign for governor. That's a lot of thanks he gets, right? Hey, Tiffany, I'm in room 871 under the name George Fox. Come on up. Thanks a lot. All right, you are Mrs. Silda Spitzer. I'm asking you now, if you're in this position right now, do you you stay with the guy and stand by him, or do you get the hell out of there? Tom Like It. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Like It. You say uh, women are just toilets? That does not make any sense. Human okay. toilet, yes. That is crap. Like, okay, a girl cannot be called a toilet. Appropriate. It's the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, the Tom Likas Show at 1 800 800 Tom. Andrea, you're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you doing? Great. Okay, I love your show, and this is the first time I've ever called in, and I've listened forever. And what I was saying is that my opinion is, for all you know, these women can have an agreement with, you know, their spouses, and they're not all that shocked when their spouses get caught. My husband, who, I mean, I know he loves me, and he, you know, takes care of us, and does everything he does. I have the arrangement. He's allowed to go out every once in a while, go get another woman. Sometimes it's, you know, paid for. Sometimes it's just another woman. And I'm okay with it. 
I have no problem with it. So for all you know, I mean, these women who stay that are politicians, they probably have the same agreement. So why did you get married? I love him. I love. I don't do it. I mean, I love him, and I'm faithful, and I know, you know, a lot of men, it's not that they don't love who they're with. It's just sometimes you need something new, and I don't have a problem with it. I know he loves me. He spends all his time with me and the kids, but he just once in a while needs to go out and have some fun. Uh, all right. And you're not worried about what you might catch. Well, no, he's he's takes as much precautions as possible, you know, whatever he can. And, and, I mean, I trust him, no. But you understand this is what he tells you. No, like I said, I trust him. I know what he's doing. He doesn't go out and just be, you know, he'll be like, okay, you know, babe, I'm going to go do this. And, you know, I've already hooked it up. And, I mean, he'll tell me. There's no need to hide something from me because I don't have a problem with it. I think that's very strange. I don't understand why you'd want to be married to somebody who does that. Like I said, some people, especially men, a lot of men, it's not that they don't love who they're with. It's just that sometimes they just need something different. How badly do you need to be married, though, that you married somebody who does that? I I have no problem with it. I love him. And I know he <laughs> Couldn't you love him without being married to him? No, I'm sure that's true. So, what, I mean, I, so why do you need to be married to him? We just are. No, no. You made that happen, dear. I did. I love him. I have no... I mean, I want to be married to him. I love him. He's yeah, but, 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 but again, couldn't you love him and not be married to him? Yeah, but the financial security. So you're with him for the financial security? The financial security is there, yes. I was one of those single moms. They went and got financial security. There we go. So you were willing to accept this compromise in order to get somebody to pay the bills. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> I'm okay with it. I know what I got into. We both know what we got into. I mean, it's not like we both came into this blind. I mean, it works because we know what's happening. <laughs> okay. All right, Andrea, thank you. I don't know why you would need to get married if you need to be with somebody like that. 1-800-5-800-TOM. It's Nick on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. Long-time listener. Always faithful. I love your act and how everything works in life. You are the man, the God. You're everything. But first of all, I like to say apparently the mayor is not... A Tom Likas listener because he spent eighty grand. To get well, he is a governor, by the way. But yes, he spent eighty grand to get laid when it would have cost him under the Tom Likas rule forty dollars. So just goes to show you what a bonehead he is to get caught. On That's him. right. Oh, he definitely is not a listener. <laughs> and of I course, if he were a, a listener, he wouldn't be married. Oh, exactly. And on top of that, now everybody's making fun of him. All the probably Tom Likas. Oh, it's relentless. John Stewart, uh, Stephen Colbert, Jay Leno, David Letterman. I mean, the, the list goes on. And everybody that's at a bar probably just thinking about it. Man, he's going to be right. having a beer with us right now. That's exactly <laughs> right. Can you take me out Kobe style on tribal Africans now? I certainly can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, there I breathe. She's so special to me. Baninge, 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 so penza. Baninge, 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 so penza. Kota lenenge, asika mama. Oya kota lenenge, asika mama. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Richard on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom. All I want to say is that um the senator he. Is a moron. He got caught. He's not a senator. He's the governor of or New York State. Whatever he is. He, um, if I had all that money, I would probably would do the same thing. I'm only 22 years old, and I've cheated on every girlfriend I've ever had, and I still do it. So why have a girlfriend? Like, I just to have, like, whatever I want. Just have her. And I have and, my other but one. you could have five or six women <laughs> in your bullpen, none of them your girlfriend, always available when you want them, if you would just be a real man and stand up and say that's the way it is. Yeah, that's true. But it's nice to go home to something, or not even go home to, just have somebody there. Ugh, then you have to pay for it. 
Not really. Sure you do. Nah. Yeah, does she pay half the rent? No. No. Does she pay half the grocery bill? Nope, I don't live with her. Ah, you just said you have someone to come home to. Well, like, you know, like, she lives at her own house, I live in my house, and whenever I want to go there, I can go over there. Same thing if you had five other women. Yeah. But you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh it up, Junior. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Lynette on the Tom Like is show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you doing? Doing okay, Lynette. That's good. I just wanted to call in and say that I think his wife should dump him. I think she should dump him and she should collect some money and she should go see what all the fuss is about out there. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, she should go out there like the MILF that she is. Exactly. She's and not She's not really a MILF. For the lady that called earlier that says she doesn't care about her husband cheating on her, I just, you know, I want her to know that we're all going to think of her and how big of an idiot she is, and she can look at her husband tonight when she lays next to him and, you know, think about all the other women he's touched. I'm sure she loves that. <laughs> Why, thank you, Lynette. Uh, this is Mark on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how you doing, daddy I'm Doing great. Glad to talk to you. Um, I want to respond to your question about why this woman, um, you know, would stay with, uh, with her husband. Um, you know, I have a feeling that she will, although she should probably not stay with him because, um, you know, what, what he did was pretty, was pretty bad to her. Um, you know, she'll probably stay with him for the same reason that Hillary stayed with uh, Clinton, you know, to, to keep that political image. You know, to keep that well, what does she need a political image for? I mean, Hillary Clinton wanted to run oh, for yeah. office, but you don't think Silda Spitzer wants to run for office, do you? <laughs> No, no, you're right. She doesn't need it, but her husband does. And and it's the same. It's yeah, but what's in it for her to stay? What's that? What is it in for Silda Spitzer to Absolutely stay? Nothing. And you're right. And there's nothing. But I'm sure she'll get pressure from her friends, her family, and so forth that, you know. Well, she might get pressure, but uh, what's in it for her? I, I, you know what? That's a good question. I have no idea. I but, think she's um, opened the Spitzer vault now. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, uh, you know, I'm sure it's the same reason why he will probably stay with her because, if he, at this point, and at, at, at this point in time, he needs that. Um, you know, he needs that. I'm not say, saying uh, he doesn't need her. She doesn't need him. Oh, no, you're right. It's true. This is reality. But I'm talking about political game. And, and but again, what's in it for her? Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, yeah, right. yeah, you act like she has no say in this. He needs her for political oh, game, does. so she'll stay, and yeah. that's that. Oh, no, that's why I said at the beginning, it, it, the right thing to do would be for her to say, you know what, I'm out of here. I'm going to take half what you got, which. You know, which probably all guys hate, but that's what that's what, that's going to happen. He's not going to kick her out. No, I know, I know, because he, he needs her. He needs her right now. He needs that backup. He needs that reassurance that the you know that political image is still there. Because at this point in time, he's very broken. You know, he, for him to go on at this point, well, I think he's still delusional. I think he still thinks he can stay in there, but uh, reality will set in eventually. Taylor, hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Um, I think she should just take him for everything he's worth. Really? Well, yeah. How embarrassing, how disgusting. He has a sex addiction. Why should she stay with him? To me, she looks like, you know, like a a 50-year-old Jennifer Aniston. She has nothing to worry about. Well, Jennifer Aniston was never most guys' uh, idea of a hot chick when she was younger. Okay, but but the thing is, you know, this woman does not, you know, she's teaching her daughters to be a, just a, a pathetic doormat. She's disgusting. Well, that's a good reason to get out. You don't want your daughter seeing you saying, uh, well, okay, uh, I can how live with this. How could she look at him? How could she look at him every day? What is, how can, how do these women stay one moment looking at a cheater? That disgusts me. I would never want to have sex again. I would do it. Uh, she has all the money in the world now. What is she staying for? I'm, well, I'm confused. Well, I agree with that. 1-800-5800-TOM. Real quickly, and I'm not kidding, Yolanda. Hi, um, I just wanted to say for all those women that are complaining about not putting up with what the governor did, if I was married to the governor, I'd put up with it. I mean, I'd kind of turn the other way. <laughs> See, if he's the governor, he can do whatever he wants, right? Exactly. Wow. I just, I, it's not what, many if, what if your husband was a talk show? What, wait, what if your husband was a radio talk show host? Depends what he looks like. Depends on what he looks like. The Tom Likas Show.